I don't know if you've ever come across a video telling you to make sacrifices, to make libations so that the things that is not working out in your life will work out. A few minutes ago, I was asking the Holy Spirit, what does he want me to talk about? And he directed me to my journal, get your journal, reading Colossians 2 verse 8. And it says, say to me that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy which depends on human tradition and the basic principles of this world rather than on Christ. Now, my focus is on Christians who call themselves sons and daughters of God. There is this thing that is happening now. I don't know if it's happening in your area, but in Southeast Nigeria, especially Anambra, in fact, everywhere, there are people who come out and they say that they have this gift. And here they call them Ezenwai or uh, Dibia, you know? A traditionalist basically someone who invokes spirits someone who makes sacrifices for you someone who tells you that there are certain things that you need to settle your your own dinke or something something that you need to settle so that things will start working for you i'm making this video to tell you that when i was reading this colossians 2 verse 8 this was where my mind went to see to it that no one takes you captive Takes you, taking somebody captive means arresting, kidnapping, or just seizing you. See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human traditions and the basic principles of this world, rather than on Christ. I see a lot of Christian brothers and sisters going to church on Sunday and going to shrine on Saturdays. They, they have their they have their shrines in their house but they they come to church they make payments they build the church probably the highest donator in the church and i was having a conversation with an uncle of mine and he said something that shocked me that was when i knew that the devil is a liar he said that the church people are deceiving us the church was brought to us and then we neglected our tradition that the people that even brought the church to us are not even carrying the church on our head like we are carrying the church on our head. And that it is also good that when you worship God, you you make sacrifices. You know, when you worship God, when he said that, I was so sad because I actually started praying for him because this is not someone who is young. It's someone that has been in the church for a long time. It's someone that is, is very well known in his place. But he has this mindset that you can be in Christ and still be doing sacrifices and still be pouring out libations on spirits and still be worshiping a tree in your house and still be hoping that your chiokike, your hiwa or whatever is protecting you. It's sad. It's, it's a sad thing. And I tell you, it's, it is a barakadas. It is not something that just happened though it's coincidence it wasn't like this before these days you, you see a native doctor having a signpost telling you that they can give you your visa they can tell you they can do so many things for you that all that there's no blood sacrifices you just have to come to their shrine and it will work for you there are words like chiokike ifiowa ndiotu ndimini these are spirits that you're supposed to either pay homage to or make sacrifices for or just do something to appease so that things will begin to work for you. The saddest thing about this is that a lot of us don't even know the power that you have as Christians. Oh, thank you, Jesus. A lot of us don't even know where we are coming from. I don't know if it's because we were we are in the church but we never encountered christ or if it's because we do not know our rights in the kingdom of heaven i don't know why anybody will lie to you and say to you that you need to make sacrifices to your ten thousand brothers and sisters that came to the world with you that you need to appease that some of them have died and they are progressing so you need to appease them so that they will stop haunting you i don't know why someone will tell you that the reason why you're not married is because someone in your former life is, is affecting you. If you know the power that is in the name of Jesus, that is matchless. If you know 
the power that is in the name of the one who you pray to and worship. If you know the power that is in the name of God, no one would deceive you with deceptive and hollow principles that is based on human tradition and not on Christ. It's making me sad and I do not want to cry because this is affecting so many people. People, people don't know what they are getting their hands in, especially when they have been afflicted with one thing or another, with sickness. We start going from one place to another. We start visiting shrines and we call ourselves Christians. Where is our faith? I watched a video where a certain actress, she made a video that someone that calls herself a prophetess, you know, when I do like this, yeah. She calls herself a prophetess. She has a shrine and she said that the actress is having certain challenges because her age mate that came with her to this world is fighting her. So she needs to make sacrifices. And you know the craziest thing that this woman said? She said that it doesn't matter if your mom is praying for you, that she can pray, but this is what you need to do to be free. If you finish doing the sacrifice, buy some things for the spirit that are haunting you, make sacrifices for them, and these things will stop, you can still continue reading your Psalm 91. The craziness in wanting to mix light and darkness is, is mind-blowing. One thing that the devil does is pervert. Yeah, perversion. He brings truth and he twists it. The first thing that comes out of his mouth is a lie. How can you tell someone who prays, who believes in God, to make sacrifices to spirits, unknown spirits, and then on the other hand, tell her that even when she's making the sacrifices, that she can also pray Psalm 91. Hmm. I saw that and I, it was just so crazy. It just tells you how confusing, how terrible the kingdom of darkness is to distract you. And they will use Bible verses, Bible quotations, to make you feel like you're doing the right thing. If you're someone that the Spirit of God lives inside of, you will know that something is off with this person. This person is not true. By their fruits, you shall know them. My final take on this is, if you're a Christian, please read your Bible. Yeah. And don't just read the Bible out of curiosity. No, let the Spirit of God lead you. Read the Bible on the daily. And know what God says about certain things. Do not be deceived by anybody walking up and down, distracting you and telling you that there is more sacrifices to, to be made. Jesus was the one that made the last and final sacrifice. He's a priest in the order of Melchizedek. Living internally, interceding for you just as it is written in the Hebrews. My God cannot be mocked. God cannot be mocked. Do not follow anybody that lies to you that you need to do these things for things to work out for you. If you're truly a Christian and if you truly believe in God, go to the cross. Go to him. If you want to cry, cry. If you want to complain, complain. He can take it. But his grace is also sufficient for you to see you through whatever it is that you're facing that will make you run away from God due to fear or pain he can strengthen you when you're weak god is strong when you're sick he he will heal you please i beg you in the name of god don't do it and if you're christian don't do it be knowledgeable in the things of god know what god says about certain things about certain sacrifices about so many things that are not not in tune with the word of god if it's not Christ, it is not good. I tell you, if it is not Christ, like if, if the teachings is not based on Christ Jesus, I do not care where they are from. It is not good. Deception is real. But you can be deceived if you do not have information, if you are not knowledgeable, or if you do not have faith that what you believe in will work. It is your faith that will help you. Jesus is the way, is the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through him. 
So the, the earlier you believe that, the better for you. I pray the Lord helps us and delivers us from all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. So like I said, do not be deceived. Please, in all your getting, get wisdom. You have rights as sons and daughters of God. I like saying that. You're fighting for a place of victory. So if you believe in God, do not be deceived by demons and spirits and things that are not of God. You're smarter than that. And God is bigger than your problems. Amen.